Hi, I'm Marla Silly, the Fly Lady. Thanks for joining us as we kick off a brand new year. Did you know that you don't have to wait for a new year to jump in and practice a new habit? We can start fresh every single day. In our last episode, we taught you about stepping out in faith and shining your sink. I have loved seeing all of your pictures posted on our Facebook page. By posting them, you can see that you're not alone in your quest for a stress-free way of living. And that's all that any of us want. I know firsthand what it's like to live in clutter and chaos. Can't have anyone over syndrome. When Robert and I got married in 1996, I had a house full of clutter and he had a house full of clutter. And then we put our clutter together and we went to estate auctions and bought more. You can barely walk through our house because of the paths and the clutter. And then there was never a yard sale or junk store that didn't have our name written all over it. Do you have little paths through your clutter? We had so many paths that it was dangerous for us to get up in the middle of the night. I was so tired of living that way. Clutter has a way of creeping up on you. It slips into our homes one little bag at a time. This is why it has to go away one bag at a time. You can't organize clutter. You can only get rid of it. We have tried for years to organize our clutter into pretty little satin boxes and plastic tubs and storage bins. The only problem is we still can't find things because every box is labeled miscellaneous. Have you ever put something in a safe place? I know I have. My son's car title is here somewhere. The searching begins and you want to know what happens next? Those boxes and bins throw up all over your home. Clutter has to leave the way it came in. Your clutter genie is not going to appear from your magic lamp to help you. You, you think, think this, this is, is bad. bad. You, you should, should see, see the clutter, clutter in my lamp. lamp. You have to get started by yourself. Now don't worry, we're going to teach you a few tricks that will make a game out of decluttering. When I was releasing my clutter, I used to sing, please release me from a stuff's point of view. Our clutter is made up of three types, trash, stuff to give away, and stuff that needs to be put away. My first declutter game is called the 27 Fling Boogie. I played this game three times a day. You're going to need some fun music, a trash bag, and a box. And here's how you do it. As you run through your home and gather up 27 items to throw away, immediately put the bag in the trash can. Next, grab your box and run around the house and gather up 27 items to give away. The secret here is to take it to the car immediately so that next time you're out, you can drop it off at your favorite charity or thrift store. There are a couple of little rules. You cannot go into the thrift store and buy more stuff when you drop things off. The next rule is you have to get the stuff out of the house. It is not to be stashed in the garage for that yard sale that will never happen. Giving your clutter away will be worth so much more than trying to sell it for 10 cents on the dollar. Bless someone else with your abundance. Releasing your clutter is the key to finding success this year. Clutter has been standing in the way of your dreams. If I had held on to my clutter, I would not be who I am today. I'm Marla Silly, the Fly Lady. Join us next time for Fly Lady TV, and together we will spread our wings and fly. Well, my sink is shining, but I'm not whining. I'm fly. I'm just a baby stepping and I'm not obsessing. I'm Things to do